Nicely done, Miss Granger. You've completed the challenge. You've collected all ten challenge shields, which means... I get to go to the Fiend bonus room. Fantastic. Wow. This is the Fiend bonus room. Correct, Hermione. Collect as many goodies as you can before the time runs out. Was it? Excellent. I can turn things into dragons now. Wicked! You mean the flying, roaring, burn down the village sort of dragon? Um, no. It's just a very small, transfigured dragon. Oh, shame. You can have another go at the challenge if you like, Hermione. We can come back and do it another time. Though the following morning was stormy and fun, Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. Played brilliantly. Till suddenly. Dementors! Oh. Harry came away from the fall without injury. But he resolved to confront his fear of the Dementors. Professor Lupin offered to help him with anti-Dementor lessons. 
He asked Lupin about Sirius Black, the man who had been his father's best friend and had betrayed both James and Lily to Voldemort. The professor seemed reluctant to discuss the matter. We'd better get on with your anti-dementor lessons, Harry. Now, we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with the Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Expecto Patronum! Excellent cast, Harry. Two more like that and you're ready to move on. Expecto Patronum! That's it, Harry. Just one more time. Expecto Patronum! Fantastic. Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Explore the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the Patronus charm on a boggart. Oh, a Dementor! No, Harry, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Expect us to you! When there is more than one Dementor, or in this case, Boggart, the creature's presence will likely keep it from moving. Cast a perfect Patronus at a Boggart to disable it. Temporarily. Many perfect casts at each Boggart in the air before the spell has time to wear off to defeat the creature. Expect an explosion! Expect an explosion! Oh, it would seem you've mastered the spell. Brilliant! Oh, and there's a collector's card too! Forgive the trapdoor and so forth. It was necessary to see how you do if the Dementors took you by surprise. You did brilliantly. Thank you, Professor Lupin. After the anti Dementor lesson, Harry asked Professor Lupin if it was true that Sirius Black and Harry's father had been friends. Professor Lupin seemed disturbed by the question. He would only say that he had known Sirius once, or thought he did. Ah! Scabbers is gone! And you know what I found on the floor? Cat hair! Orange cat hair! You're not suggesting Crookshanks! I just heard! They're going to execute Bugbeak because he attacked Malfoy! No! They can't! This is all Malfoy's doing! He's the one who wants to be punished! There must be something we can do. An appeal. An appeal, that's it. I'm sure I've read about a case of hippogriff baiting. We can look in the library. I'll come along while I've had it with that monstrous cat of yours, Hermione. I wonder where Madame Pince is. Maybe Crookshank's got her too. I know she'd let us look at those books on hippogriff baiting. It's an emergency. It kept in that legal section over there, but it's locked up. There must be some other way to get up there. All right, but let's just try and do this without getting into trouble. Trouble? Who says we'll get into trouble? The Pulso! 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 The Pulso!
way to get us up to that legal section, Ron. Right. 